Oh, yeah, baby. Look at this beautiful fellow. Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Valguero, where my naked old butt is standing beside our new and uh, recently tamed Ankylosaurus that we left. We kind of just left him by a tree last episode. Oh, God. What a, what a, what, what a day yesterday was. It, the fortune just didn't go our way. Things did not go our direction. And uh, as a result, we, we, we need to go on a bit of a rescue mission today. We're putting on our fire helmet. We're putting on our, our protective safety serv rescue service outfit. That is imaginary because I don't have anything like that. And we're going to go and rescue three of our most prized possessions, our prized friends, dinosaurs, over in the Redwood Forest biome. I have no idea where they are, but hopefully we can find them. But this guy, as a matter of fact, is going to help us out with this rescue expedition. It actually worked out perfectly that we started taming him up. The reason for that, did you eat all the berries I gave you? Damn, son. Oh, he must have gotten hungry. Anyways, uh, yeah, the reason, the way he's gonna help us is because not only can this guy break trees, not only can he break rocks and metal nodes and all other sorts of jazz, he can also, wait, I thought he can do bushes. Can you do bushes? I thought you collect, yeah, there we go. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Um, okay, so if we right click, we can pick up bushes. I thought he might be a bit of an, a better a better option than our Parasaur, this Mr. Prince. 500x or whatever, whatever his name is um but yeah no he actually looks a lot better he's getting he's getting them narcotics really really quickly what i was thinking of doing because i for some reason can't find our dead buddy is getting a bunch more narcotics for the third time recently um <laughs> getting more narc or trank arrows or whatever they're called trying to tame us a pteranodon and then using the pteranodon to basically explore the forest in hopes of finding our forgotten friends, our lost dinosaurs, okay? That's that's my rescue plan. I have no idea if it goes according to plan, but uh, you know what? Right this second, I get the feeling it's kind of our best bet. I don't think we've got many other options apart from pretty much just trying what I laid out. Um, so we are going to need to recraft us a bit of toolage. We are going to have to... Uh, Going a little bit of a grind rooney to get this stuff going, but I think it'll all be worth it because we have some pretty valuable dinosaurs out there that I do not want to lose. And plus, if you subscribe to this channel by this point, you know that at least every five episodes or so, we got to dedicate an entire episode to rescuing dinosaurs that have died due to our own stupidity. And I guess today's, well, the special day. We have, oh, sit over there, buddy. You're all good. We have us a bunch of berries. Not a whole lot, but enough. Let's go and get us a bunch of these as well. Um, while those are crafting, we should craft most of our stuff down here, to be fair. But it's all good. While that's all happening, we are obviously going to need us another crossbow. We're gonna... That's probably all we need, really. Maybe a bit of... Maybe a bit of armor and stuff, but I don't have any chitin. I swear... Where does all of our stuff go? Where does it go? I don't know. I don't get it. This thing here, of course, it's run out of... Yep, sure thing. Uh, we're going to bring out some of this stuff. We shouldn't need much of it, actually. That's for the Pteranodons when we get around to that. There's a new set of boots, just in case our feet get sore on this mission. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I think that's it. I think we, we should be good for the most part. I just got to get some arrows. 33 of them, apparently. Um, I guess I'll just whistle down... Can I whistle down one of my friends? Come here, buddy. It's all... Oh, my gosh. Perfect. Damn, son. The efficiency on that lunge was majestic. Oh, wait. I got to get my narcotics. Oh, I thought we were being all smooth. I thought it was like, yeah, boy, let's go. It's kind of like a movie. But no. No. Your boy Miola, he forgot the most vital ingredient in all of this. Oh, I should probably get a bowler as well. Because uh, one of my dinosaurs has my bowlers because the Pegamastex went and stole it. I didn't even have fiber. Oh, my God. I don't even have bushes. Oh, my gosh. It's all good. We'll get, we'll get the fiber on the way. We should have everything we need on this boat anyways. Minus the fiber, of course. All right. Come on. Let me drive. Let's go. No more. I should just bring all of our dinosaurs. We should just bring the whole Deinonychus. You see You see what I did there? I said, it, I said it correctly. We should just bring the old Deinonychus pack over with us. That way, inevitably, when something goes wrong, um, we'll, we'll be fine. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I just hope my bodies are still there. 
I mean, there's nothing irreplaceable on those bodies. It's just arrows, weapons, armor, like nothing too drastic. Um, no, actually, no. I just care my dinosaurs are still alive. Oh, man. I'm just thinking about the harsh, the harsh reality that those guys are facing out there right now. They don't know where their big boy owner Miola is. They don't know anything. The amount of uncertainty that they would be going through right this second is just horrendous. But, unfortunately, it's the fates that they are currently facing and it's up to us to go and protect them. So, let's get Ebola. Hopefully. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, so I'm talking about. We've got, I don't have, I don't have Trank Arrows yet, but we only need like, if I could spell that properly, we only need like five of them would be enough. And now we just got to find a Pteranodon, which I just saw a bunch of them flying around here. Oh, we got metal nodes through here. Oh, I didn't know there was metal so close to my base. Oh, okay. This is good. Okay. There's a boy. There you are. I see you. Are. Oh, I don't have a spyglass. Oh, I was like, oh, I'll just scope in and see what level he is. Not that it matters. Also, why am I not on my dinosaur right now? I'm running around with a pair of boots and underwear on. This is not... Oh, 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 we got a boy stuck in here. Uh, okay. What level is he? 102, and he's got purple wings. I couldn't think of a better situation. This is good. I should have had my arrows ready to go, though. All right. You look good. You're a high level. You're about to be my friend. And I promise I'll try and take more care of you than I have with my other dinosaurs. Just don't shoot the stego. That's all I ask. Come on. Fall asleep. There he goes. Where's this other one that's flattening around my face? I swear there's another one that was just flapping around me. And now he's just vanished out of thin air. All right. Anyways. Time to get this guy tamed up with a bit of mutton. Hopefully he eats this stuff. Uh, we just gotta play the waiting game. Alrighty. Well, he just ate one piece, I think. And it got him 25% of the way. So, he only needs four of them, which is nice. Um, what I should really be focusing on, though, is getting a Pteranodon saddle. Which I need keratin. Oh, we don't have any chitin. Wait, do I have chitin? No. Then why did it say I'm only missing fiber? Anyways, we need chitin. We need fiber. And that's really about it. But I also got to wait for this guy. Ah, oh boy. Oh, boy. What? What a, what a, what a, what a weekend. What a weekend. <laughs> what a week it's been. It's been a crazy week this week, guys. I can finally say it. I can finally share with you that um, on Monday, our time, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, my wife's sister and her husband gave birth to a beautiful little girl which means I am officially an uncle to a beautiful little niece. And, ah, uh, it's so cool. I never thought I'd get so excited about something like, like, I don't know. I, I, it's, it's awesome. It's such a cool thing. Um, the miracle of birth, that is. But, uh, so that happens. Then the week was pretty chill from then onwards until, oh, snap. Okay, buddy, how you doing? Until Friday or Thursday where, uh, our neighbor's house burnt down. Uh, so that was an interesting experience. Unfortunately. And then, of course, last episode happened. And that, that was just bad. Let's, let's not remind ourselves of that horrible experience. But in saying that, I guess we got to remind ourselves of that horrible experience. Because today is all about undoing our actions of last episode. Oh, boy. Well, I went and killed a bunch of stuff. And we basically got four pieces of chitin. We have a lot more to go. Oh, it's 50% of the way now. Nice. Check out who we missed out, guys. Check out who we missed out on taming. Ah, uh, I was off trying to find Kaiden, but we kind of ran out of guys. I couldn't even kill this guy. Ugh, because he would just go and, like, demolish our Pteranodon. But here he is. We've got our new friend. All we're missing is, like, 170 Kaiden. Um, I'm trying to think of the best bet. I'm trying, actually, this guy wouldn't be terrible, would he? You just sit down, buddy. Just take it easy, all right? Just take it easy for a second. It's all good, mate. It's all good. Um, I think, I'm, yeah, we'll just see, we'll see how we go here. We can take him down. I know that much, hopefully. But, um, you know what? If we could find, like, a beached dolphin or a beached, no, the beached turtle. That's what gives us the good stuff. 
Man, we've gained five levels from all of our killing. All right, missed the boat by a long shot just then. Unless we've got... There's like, there's, there's not going to be any um, trilobites down here, are there? All righty, well, I decided we had to make... Ooh, actually... Can I do this? Personal grave. Is it too late? I feel like you... I will be right back. Well, that's two episodes in a row that we've been interrupted by a delivery. That was my new computer arriving. Unfortunately, we're one part short. I just need my SSD. So I can't actually build the computer until we get that part, which is a couple days away still, unfortunately, because it's like a brand spanking new part. Oh, anyways. <laughs> ah, we got to get us some chitin. Um, I'm just trying to think of the best way that we can do this. Is there anything down here that we can bust up? Probably not. I think we might just need to take our raft out for a bit of a spin. Have a have a bit, a bit of a, a geese around. Or we just craft us a hatchet and we go and hack up a whole bunch of tracks. I like the sound of that a little bit better. Wait a second. We got 80 keratin in here. How did I not see that? I think I was just so focused on the chitin. So all in all, we only need uh, 80. Ish. 40, 70, 80, 80. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, we need about 80 still, so we are quite short indeedy. Ooh! Blue drop right next to base. That's what I'm talking about. What might we have in here? Might we just have a little bit of chitin? You know what's crazy, right? Had we not crafted a set of chitin armor, had we not crafted these extra pair of chitin boots that we're currently wearing, we probably wouldn't need to be going and looking for this chitin right this second. Anyways, as expected, absolute trash. An apprentice terabird saddle blueprint? One, it's just apprentice. Two, it's a terabird blueprint. Nobody likes terabirds. They are disgusting, vile, and just abysmal creatures. Nobody likes them. And as we pass by this island on the left, you will see the exact location that we hatched our Deinonychus eggs. Over on our right, we will hopefully find a nice source of chitin, as that's all that I need right this second. And a purple drop. Do, we're like, am I at high enough level to pick up a purple drop? It's a good question. Let's find out. So at first glance, as we approach the land, it's pretty much the exact same dinosaurs that we found over the other side of the island. <laughs> so, essentially, very small chunks of keratin. But if that's how we gotta do this, I guess that's how we gotta do it. At least we have... Alright, you can sit tight, buddy. You sit tight. At least we have a way to harvest the guys now. Um, I'm just trying to think. Do we have, like... Do we have any... Any trill There is a beach over here. Hold on just a second. Oh, it's got turtles on it. I think I spot a... Yeah, it's a bit of water. I think I spot a dead turtle. Yeah, baby. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, wait. Did I not... Oh, I didn't bring... I didn't bring the hatchet. I didn't bring the hatchet. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Just... Okay, that's fine. It's all good. We can do it with our boy here. And just like that, oh, I'm gonna get all the bloody keratin out of this that I can get. Oh, so good. Okay, now, show me the good news. What am I missing? Fiber. <laughs> of course we're missing fiber. All right, well, at least we know where we can go to get us keratin or chitin or whatever it is that we need. That's somewhat close to base. All right, that was just lucky. I didn't actually expect to find any washed up bodies over here. I didn't even know there was a beach over here to be to be quite honest. And these guys are quite hard to control uh, when it comes to, oh no, I don't have any stamina. These guys are quite hard to control when it comes to playing on like with a very low ping. You can't jump them onto your boats. You can't do much with them, but it's all good for we are about to be able to actually fly a Tyranodon. Oh, I'm so pumped for this. I love how it was just yesterday that we were saying, 
oh, you know, I want to try and use different dinosaurs this series than like what we're normally used to. And I don't even have any fiber on here. Um, oh, our hatchet's on there though, isn't it? Yeah, I want to use different dinosaurs, I said. And then as soon as we like face a little bit of difficulty, it's like, yep, we're resorting back to pteranodons because uh, that's all I know. <laughs> no, I think it makes sense. Especially because the uh, like aerial bird's eye view while going through this forest is going to be, it's gonna be, it's gonna work wonders. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be fantabulous. You might even say. Okay, that should be enough fiber. How are we looking? There it is. The Tyrannodon saddle is in our grasp. And this guy here, ho 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 ho! You're gonna be an absolute machine. Yeah, you know what? You can keep the good meat. You can keep the good stuff. Because you're about to be the lifesaver of the day. Alrighty. Well, once again, we are all the way back over at the base. Which, uh, sooner or later, we are going to go and upgrade. I'm going to go and drop this friend off right here, though. And what I'm actually going to do is bring our Ankylo onto the raft with us. I'm going to take the raft over and we're going to drop this guy by all of those metal nodes that we just kind of located uh, when we're getting out to round it on. I figured it's probably the best place to leave this guy because his number one function is going to be Hulk smashing metal nodes. Um, and well, <laughs> isn't it funny how this guy swims better than he runs? I've never understood that about Ankylos. They're such good swimmers, but such horrible just maneuverers, just, just walkers. They're so slow. Adios, we'll drop our ankle off, and then it's time to take off to the skies. Hopefully find our dinosaurs, and if we're extra lucky, we might even find our dead, cold bodies full of all of our items that I don't want to lose. My fingers are so crossed right now. Alrighty. So, let's go. Just pull this one up. Nice. And calmly alongside. There we go. Fantastic. My friend, it's time to test out your skills and your worthwhilehood to our squad. He's rather slow, but that's normal. That's fine. I get it. Um, we're going to work out how we, we need to work out how exactly we're going to go about this, okay? Because stamina is going to probably hurt us. If we don't play our cards right, we're going to get knocked off of our Tyranodon, inevitably, by a Perlovia or a... Or uh, what are the what are the other guys that jump out the trees? Whatever those guys are called. Why I don't know why their name is escaping me right this second. But those guys. Um, also, how am I gonna get these guys out of here? We're gonna have to like run them out somehow. Oh, I don't even know what we're doing. It wasn't up here, was it? No, this is. This is where we sort of briefly visited the other day. Oh, I completely forgot. Let me just let me just take a quick little squat right here. I forgot we crafted this. Can I just? Oh! Of course, of course. All right. I forgot that we're gonna do that. Okay. Well, finding our body is no longer important. Oh wait, I can't even pick this up. Is it because it got damaged? Can I really not pick this up? Pick up personal grave. Meanwhile, our poor Pteranodon is getting attacked by a Pego. That's all right. We're out of there. Okay. Well, <laughs> we got all of our items. And all my armor's broken. That's fine. Whatever. It is what it is. It's all good. All right. I, I was adamant that that wasn't going to work. But it's all good. Now we just got to find some dinosaurs. Now we just got to find our little reptilian scaly friends. Um, fingers crossed. That we find them alive and well. Because they were kind of getting mobbed by a bunch of rude dinosaurs last we saw them. We got no stamina. Alrighty. Um, let's go. I'm going to chuck a couple levels. Something's attacking. Oh! Oh, right here. Okay. We should stop. I got to get stamina. We need stamina. What is going on with the stamina? Why is it not regenerating? Oh, Microraptors. We gotta get... Yep, okay. I figured. I figured. I figured. Come on. Help me. Help me. I need your help now. Okay, one Microraptor dead. 
I just want everybody on me right now, okay? I just want everybody to come to me. If you're gonna kill him, kill him. That's fine. I don't care. Well, what else is what else is fighting down here? Pego. Okay, I think we got it. I think we've done it. Okay, we've got our two friends. Let's get him out of here. Can I just get them up this cliff? I just want to put them somewhere that I can remember where they are. And they're like slightly out of harm's way. Because we still have one guy that we got to find. Unfortunately. We are so far from everything. Whose idea was this to come out here? Alright. This looks like a good spot. Okay. So if we just leave them at the top of this mountain. Can I even pick them up? Imagine that. That'd be so cool. Uh, we're going to leave them right here. Okay. This is, it, It's at least... Ah, oh, stuff it. Let's just keep looking. <laughs> we got to find the, like, the flagship of our Deinonychus Express squad. He's at level 156 or 170 or whatever he is now. Or whatever she is. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. The wet. Why did I put a level into weight? No, don't nod. You should be shaking your head with disapproval. All right. Come on. Come on. Stay in the sky. So... We're still missing one of our amigos. Oh, and I have no idea where. This does look familiar up here, though. But this seems really, like, off the path. I don't see why we would have come up here. So I'm holding down H in hopes that we get the little, like, just sort of see the name peeking out. Oh, stamina. I really got to keep my eyes on that. Just hoping that we see the name peeking out above wherever he is out here in the wilderness. Um, it's all we can really do. I mean, even if we just find, like, see him taking damage, at least we'll know. See, this looks familiar as well. Oh, and the old stamina again. Strikes twice. Oh, hey, buddy. That's not what we want to be seeing. We do not want to be seeing an Alpha Kano. Now is like the first time this whole day that I don't want to come across one of my lost dinosaurs. Not if he's near an Alpha Kano. But I think we're okay. Oh, I think he's okay. It just occurred to me, I probably should have checked for a death message. We've gone full circle. We're back here. Oh, man. Where is this guy? So I just checked like the death message log and it does in fact say that two Deinonychuses, like level 100 plus Deinonychuses died really, really recently. Um, I don't know if that was mine or Syntax though. Um, I don't want to say I hope it was Syntax, but I hope it wasn't mine. Okay, so I decided it was worth our while, worth my while, having a look at the footage from the episode from hell and see if we can manage to somewhat key down or lock down a location where this might have all taken place. And I think we may be onto something. It should be over here. Assuming the map and the little death location that pops up when you die is accurate. I think we were actually heading up towards this mountain over here. Oddly enough. I didn't even realize that we were heading out this way. Oh, you better not. You better not. I don't know why I didn't get bounced or whatever it is. Stunned just then, but come on, buddy. He's a high level boy too. Where's this meant to get limimuses? Come and help our dinosaurs. I don't like this. All right. I just want to get off the ground at this stage. Come on. Let me up. Let me up. All right. We nearly died. That would have been terrible. If we died, I don't know how we would have gotten back out here. You know what a Gilimimus is? Or do you know what they, like, what kind of role they fill in this game? It's like when you see a fight and you get that guy who's like, guys, break it up. Break it up. It's all good. And then, unlucky for them, they went and get, they go and get, like, punched in the face accidentally. It's, that's the Galimimus. Whenever you're fighting a dinosaur, the Galimimus is like, Yo, yeah, guys, how you doing? Bang! Cracks in the face, and then they end up dying pretty quickly. That's the Galimimus right there. It's kind of sad, but it's true. Y'all are thinking it. I know it. 
Oh man, Thylacolio just jumped out of a tree. I'm so lucky it didn't see me. All right, this looks familiar. This looks like really familiar. This has to be the area. But I'm holding H and I ain't seeing our friend. I even saw a micro raptor. Okay, so again, I'm looking at the footage. Oh, get stuffed, mate. I don't have time for you right now. Uh-uh, we're chilling up here. We actually ran past this part of the beach. I feel like Detective Miola is out on investigation today. It's been a little while since we've seen Detective Miola, but we end up cruising up this way. Hello, if you're beneath me, let's dodge him. So we kind of turn right a bit, sort of. I think we, we actually hit this little pathway here, okay? And we, we look left, we look right, and then we decide that our best bet is to run upwards. But this doesn't look like it. This here, aha, it was over here a little bit further. We look left, look right, we look at this tree, and then we see this little opening, this little clearing, this little pathway up here, and we follow this, okay? This is where it all happens. That, that Diplo was there. This field over here is where we fought the gorilla. I think. It's where we got mobbed by Kano's. It's where we just got obliterated by everything. The question remains. Where is our friend? And is he out here? This this is where it all went down. See, the thing is... Yep, I, yeah, I, I can confirm. This is exactly the location of the battle that changed everything. The thing is... I don't see our friend. And I've checked the death logs. I've analyzed the death logs. The death logs do not have a death message. So our friend is out here somewhere. I just nearly got pounced by something, I think. Anyways, all I can think, all I can think of is that the battle got sort of drawn out and it moved on somewhere. I don't know, but... It ain't here. He ain't where he should be. Ooh, the investigation. He's starting to get interesting. There's a, there was a dead Kano right there. He just disappeared. Where did the dead Kano go? <gasps> oh, we did it. We did it. There he is. Oh, we followed the trail of breadcrumbs and we've made it. We found our friend. Oh God. Microraptor. Oh, here we go. Yep, fantastic. Let's do this thing. Come on, guys. Get over here, buddy. I need a little bit of help. Come on. There we go. To the rescue. As if nothing ever happened. All right, everybody sit tight for a second. All right, it's time to get home. It's time to get out of here. I don't even know where I am right now. But as long as this guy is following me, we should be able to get home in one piece. I just realized we got to somehow go and find where we've left Rab God and our amber colored Deinonychus. Deinonychus. Oh, okay. Alpha Kano up ahead. We're not going that way. We'll take him down one day. That day is not today. Oh, wait. I just realized we can climb a cliff. Or can we? Yeah, we can. Sort of. <laughs> Maybe? Can we? Yeah, yeah, there we go. We are so close to the raft. It's not even funny. All right, there it is. There it is. This is the exit. Uh, this way, maybe a little bit. Yeah, this way, because we parked it right next to the uh, the little metal cove. There it is. All right, rescue number one complete. Okay, now. Now for the unfortunate part, uh, I've got to somehow find our other two friends that we went and perched up atop, I don't know, some random rock. But I've got a lot of stuff on me that I should probably drop first. So my feelings are that I left our friends just over here because I think I dropped them off right before we went and headed like straight across the river over to the other side. So I think 
They should be over here. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Surely it's like one of these little mounds, right? It's actually quite a bit of metal and crystal and all sorts up here. Speaking of these resources, what did we need for some scissors for our haircut? We needed... Sorry, buddy. We needed like eight pieces of obsidian. There we go. We now have scissors. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. All right. I definitely did not climb this rock with them. I know that much. There is no way I could get our guys up this cliff face. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're miles away from where I thought we were. Oh, there's Argentavis is up there. Oh, okay. Well, I know where we're going pretty soon. All right, guys. After a lot of searching... And when I say a lot of searching, I mean a lot <laughs> of detective investigatory work. I think we finally located the rough d direction, destination of our friends. I think they should be atop one of these rocks over here. There they are. Okay, good. Okay, good. They're a lot closer than I thought they were. Uh, unfortunately, they're on the wrong side of the river though. So we need to get these guys out of here. Let's get both of these guys following us. And it is time to go for a nice old wander all the way home. You know what? Just so we don't get lost, maybe I should just stick to the trail this time. Just stick to the footpath. It's not that difficult, mate. No shortcuts, no nothing like that. Let's just let's just get home in one piece. Why do I have such a bad habit of oh, Kano, Alpha Kano. No, 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 no. This way, this way, this way, guys. This way, this way, this way. Get your booties out of there. I forgot that there was an Alpha Kana and bears. And Micro Raptors. Yep. The whole shebang bang baby. Go to town. Destroy everything in the vicinity. Oh, you stole my Medjo Berries, did you, mate? I hope you're proud of yourself. You're going to pay the ultimate price for that. Ain't nobody missing. Oh, ants now as well. This game does not want to give me a break. Leave me alone. Oh my gosh. Any creature in this game with the stun feature can honestly just remove itself. Just remove itself from existence, please. I'm talking Microraptors. I'm talking Perlovias. Just, oh, and Terra Birds. You know what? Just chuck them on the list as well. Just chuck them on the list because I don't like them either. I think we're all good here. I don't know. We're getting absolutely mobbed. Oh, come on, come on, come on. we got to come out on top of this. I did not just run around all day looking for my dinosaurs to lose them to a bunch of terror birds. I refuse it. I think we're good. We're good. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, all I'm hoping is that we can just make our way over this cliff. I can see the lake. I can see the light. The light at the end of the tunnel. It's right ahead of us. Let's just not die to full damage. You ready, guys? You, you're with me on this one. Yeah! Boom, baby. This is a nice little area. Oh, I like this. It's very... It's much less redwood forest biomes than I'm used to lately. That's what I love about it. Oh, baby. We've made it to the water. We've made it to the water's edge. Now we just got to get to our raft. But thankfully, the raft is on this side. It's actually not that far. So, job well done, everybody. Job well done, Alpha Squad. We're not really an Alpha Squad. We're, we're, we're just like the peasant dumb dumb, making stupid choices by the day squad. There is my trusty old raft. The whole squad is intact for the first time. And we didn't lose a single dinosaur after all of that. Rescue mission successful. And we actually ended up nabbing two extra dinosaurs out of all of this as well. So that's 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 a positive. We end up positive. Now for the whole like point of bringing this guy over here as well. We wanted to go and send him up this little canyon. That's right. We're still going to go ahead and do that because why not? We need metal. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, buddy. Let's get that melee damage up a little bit further. Wait, we only got one stone for that swing? <laughs> That's like nothing. <gasps> That's a beautiful looking Pteranodon, by the way. He's only level 30, though. I don't tame nothing unless its level starts with a 1. Am I breaking a rock? Yep. All right, let's get the metal node now. Come on. 
There we go. That's the one I'm talking about. Man, we can build out a stone now. We can do anything we like. So good. All right. Can I carry this? It's actually not that heavy because of our stack mod. All right. I'm going to go get a little bit more. It's just a shame. This guy's booty is so darn slow. All righty. Well, we're going to leave this guy out here. This is his new home by the rocks. I might even get and place like a little base. Oh, not a base, but a little foundation, a little bed, a little station, um, just to make things a little bit quicker. But we have just managed to get us 622 pieces of metal. That's going to go and condense into about 300 metal. And that 300 metal is going to go into like the next tier of saddles and items, I guess, that we are going to need. And you know, the one thing that we're missing from all of this is our scissors. We wanted a haircut. And by God, we are going to be getting that haircut. So, we got a couple options. We actually don't have all the options. I want to dye my hair as well because our hair's so dark. I don't know why I made it so dark. I think it was a bit of an accident. There are those luscious locks the way I like them. Yeah, I guess we could match Syntec, but that's not going to happen. We're going to go for the romantic Fabio style haircut. Let's go. Accept. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I only forgot my beard. Then they forgot the old trusty facial hair. Romantic. Looking good, my friend. Looking good, but I don't think so. No, 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 no. Beard dreads. They look kind of cool. Mutton chops. Disgusting. Curly beard. Or just default. I like default. Maybe we just go for the Thor style. Let's just go for one of these. There we go. We might we might be a little bit a little bit too heavy or something. I'm stuck. Uh, this is, this is an interesting revelation. Um, okay. On that note though, guys, we're done for today. Thanks so much for watching. Rescue mission, success. Give it a big old tick with a green pen. We are happy. I'm happy. Ah, uh, I just want to rest now. If you guys did enjoy this video though, make sure to go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. And as always, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.